What's up travelers, welcome back to the channel, SJ Aviation HQ here, welcome and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we have another model review for, for you guys today, this is the model review of the Air Senegal Airbus HP30-900neo released by Aviation 400. But of course before we go any further into today's video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up below, a great indication of how much you enjoy today's content and of course the movement here on the channel. Great array of content coming out very, very soon, including more model reviews like this, including the likes of the Qatar Airways Airbus A380 released by JC Wings, and of course my newly acquired Air Japan 787-8 uh, released by JC Wings as well. Uh, and of course some more infinite flight content as well and unboxings are coming out very very soon so stick around for that if you want to come along and tune into more content like this including the, the likes of the content i just mentioned just now uh, consider subscribing below it would be a great, great way to support the channel even further uh, of course and, and to receive the notifications as soon as they go live here on the channel go ahead and turn on the bell icon below as well that's of course located next to the subscribe button below and of course uh Put the the option to all so you get all of the notifications as soon as the videos go live on to the channel as mentioned this is the model review of the Air Senegal uh, Airbus A330 900 Neo released by Aviation 400 this model here was the first ever Air Senegal uh, released by uh, a wonderful scale air uh, manufacturer or, or I think uh, Phoenix models may have uh, released it beforehand but I mean this is the, the first one that has um, the magnetic gears uh, I do quite like this this model in terms of the mag mag magnetic gears, so I might go ahead and get some more in, uh, from the release that this one was was a part of. Uh, these models by Aviation 400, um, they're a lot cheaper than the likes of Vinci models, uh, so I do quite like the fact that, that that's the case. So I might uh, uh, start to um, shift to Aviation 400 in the near future, you know, depending on what they release. But anyway. Uh, now moving on into the model re model review for you guys. Uh, before I go ahead and showcase the box you can see in front of you guys, I'm going to read out some information about Air Sen Senegal as an airline, and then some brief information about the, the particular airframe that this aircraft is. So founded on 2016 and commencing operations on May 14th, 2018, uh, Air Senegal is the flag carrier airline of the Republic of Senegal and is based in Dakar, which is of course the capital city of Senegal, to which the Singalese carrier operates 22, to 22 destinations from Blas Dian International Airport, including the likes of Fr uh, Paris, uh, Charles de Gaulle in France, Milan Malpensa International Airport in Italy, and of course uh, New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport, of course located on the east coast of the USA. According to Planspotters.net, Air Senegal operates an aircraft fleet consisting of eight aircraft, which includes two ATR-72-600s, two Airbus A319-100s, two Airbus A321-200s, and the two Airbus A330-900neos, which of course is the airline's only wide-body aircraft. All of, the, all of which, in terms of the fleet, has a combined average age of 12.9 years, so almost 13 years. So going into some information about this particular airframe now. This aircraft's MSN number, or manufacturer, uh, sorry, manufacturer serial number, is 1923. This aircraft is a five-year-old Airbus A330-900 Neo, particularly, uh, specifically a 941. Neo because 41 is the uh, Airbus designated code for Airbus built aircraft that of course are equipped with Rolls Royce engines. This aircraft uh, performed its first flight on September the 13th of 2019 and it wore the test registration of Foxtrot Dash Whiskey Whiskey Yankee in November. Or well, for those that aren't familiar with the phonetic alphabet, it of course would be F Dash W W Y N. This aircraft here was built and produced at, in Toulouse, France. Of course, Toulouse, France is where the main uh, factory is, the factory plant for Airbus. Uh, that's, of course, where m mainly the wide bodies are built in, so the likes of the 350 family and the 330neo family. Of course, there are some 330CO still being built, but, of course, mainly for the military side of things and, of course, the freighter conversions as well. Because they do have the likes of the 320neo family still being built in Toulouse. Uh, fun fact if you didn't know this, but the, the old 
uh, factory or the the uh, the old building that the 380 uh, production line once was is now the production line for the 321neo family so that's some information for you guys if you didn't know that and of course they do have Airbus do, do still have the um uh, the factory out in Hamburg Germany just to the southwest of the main, main international airport I will put the the name of the airport in the bottom of the screen at the moment now for you guys and of course the air uh, airport codes etc so anyway this aircraft is currently active on the, uh, the network for Air Senegal wearing the registration of 6 Victor Alpha November Bravo this aircraft again is an Airbus A330 900neo which was delivered to the airline on November the 29th of 2019 Equipped with two Rolls-Royce Trent 7000-72 engines, this aircraft was ferried between Toulouse and Dakar in Senegal on December the 4th of 2019 on its delivery flight. So very, very cool. Let's go ahead and check out this box art design. Uh, very similar to the likes of JC Wings. We have on the top of the box, we have the Airbus A330 900 Neo text, text there in black on the back on a white background. Here we have the Aviation 400 trademark logo there. On the left side we can see the Air Senegal A330 900 Neo. Uh, of course the 2D rendering of this beautiful aircraft. Uh, I do I do quite think that the yellow on the tail fin in terms of the of the uh, the box art is quite uh, dark in terms. Uh, comparable to the actual aircraft so do keep that in mind and here is the logo of Air Senegal very cool here we have the registration as mentioned just before 6 Victor Dash Alpha November Bravo or 6 V Dash A N B and of course this aircraft is in 1 to 400 scale as you can see there quite largely very cool and this aircraft is a diecast die aircraft model on the bottom panel of the sides of the box we have the, the airline's logo on the top left, the scale of the aircraft in the, in the bottom left. In the middle there we have the aircraft type, uh, you know, typeface there. The 2D rendering of this aircraft uh, spanning across the main uh, part of the panel here. Registration just there and the art number AV4228, uh, very cool. Here we have on the right panel we have the Air Senegal logo there. On the top of the box we have uh, pretty much the same identical stuff that was on the opposite side. And on this side this is just where it says that this is an Airbus A330 900neo. The largest of the neo family. Of course they do have the 800neo as well. That is quite a nice aircraft. But here we have the uh, on the back of the back panel of the box we have the Air Senegal logo here. And some warning information just here. And the barcode. And of course where it was made. Of course made in China. Mainly where the, the, the die cars models are being made these days. So very cool. As, as mentioned this the box art is very similar to the likes of JC Wings. Their new box art designs. Um, uh, Aviation Wonders have, have recently released some very cool models and uh, um, I do think they're on par in terms of their moulds, in terms of energy models um, and of course Panda Models has recently come out with some pretty decent aircraft but uh, in recent times Aviation Wonders ha uh, have released the likes of the, the Corsair A330 900neo which is probably my next purchase to go for as of course the Corsair was the first ever uh, released by a one to scale brand, so I probably will go for that as, an, as that is a fantastic livery. And of course, they have released the likes of the Air Tanzania 787 8 um, and some more 787. So, I, I, and I, I need Air, Air Tanzania to um, add to my large collection of 787s. But anyway, that will do it for this portion of the video. So, let's go. Uh, so, uh, that is the reading out of the airline information. Uh, the reading out of the aircraft and the showcasing of the box. So let's go ahead and check out the model. And here is the absolutely stunning Air Senegal Airbus A330 900 Monero released by Aviation 400. Now in this portion of the video I'm just showcasing the model up close to the camera for you guys. Giving you some nice up close shots of the details on this model. And of course giving you some ins 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 and outs about what each of those components do. Let's go ahead 
and dive in straight into the review of the model. First and foremost, pointing or zooming straight into the model for you guys, and then getting the model up close to the camera. Now this is the second of the A330 Neos uh, in my collection by Aviation Finder with the magnetic gears. I will show you those uh, these these gears when we get to the bottom of the aircraft. They're quite nifty indeed. Uh, this model here was the one that, or the 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 one that uh, just gave me the idea to go ahead and get the Corsair International, which was also released in the same release as this one here. But anyway, here is the front portion of this aircraft. In the middle of the shot, you can see right there is the nose cone. Now underneath that is a component of the aircraft called the weather radar. Now the weather radar has the purpose to detect storms along the flight path and to give the pilot a visual indication of the rainfall intensity ahead of them and the possibility of turbulence as well. Uh, this enables the crew to navigate around any potential hazardous areas along the uh, uh, their flight plan that they've assigned for the flight. Very nice indeed. Um, and of course up on top of that where you see the cockpit windows with the raccoon mask surrounding them and the raccoon mask uh, again, not too sure what that does, but but I'll put that uh, information at the bottom of the screen right about now for you guys. I, be I believe it's uh, uh, put there to, to reduce the heat uh, along, along the edge of the cockpit windows, perhaps. Uh, but of course, the Requiem Mask was introduced on the Airbus A350 XWB family. And then, of course, it has been uh, recently seen on... Uh, of course, it, it is now seen on the A320 Neo family as well, and, and some of the A3... Uh, 3, 330 COs as well uh, but mainly seen on the NEO aircraft here here in the middle of the shot just here is the angle of attack sensor or the or and or the pitot tubes uh, now the pitot tubes is used to measure flu fluid flow velocity uh, very cool indeed and the AOA sensor I believe this is this is this here is the pitot tubes here and just here uh, is the AOA sensor. Now the AOA sensor or the angle of attack sensor offers a visual indication of the amount of uh, lift the wings are generating at a given airspeed angle or uh, and uh, sorry uh, at a given airspeed or angle of bank very cool indeed sorry about uh, butchering that uh, sentence for you guys but right here in the middle of the shot is the uh, the Alpha 1 boarding door, very cool indeed, not the Alpha 1 boarding door, my bad, it's the Level 1 boarding door. Uh, to the to the left of that is uh, some sort of decal there for uh, Air Senegal, very cool with the, uh, the, the colours of the flag and of course the green star that's also seen on the flag, which of course is right there in the middle of the shot there, that's the flag of Senegal, might also be down the rear of the fuselage as well. Here... Uh, at the bottom, we can see the uh, the nose gear with the last two digits of the registration November Bravo on them. Of course, the registration is six Victor Dash Alpha November Bravo. Very cool indeed. Here is the first antenna on top of the fuselage, just here, looking absolutely gorgeous indeed. And then here is the nice large billboard titles for Air Senegal. Just say the word Senegal on the state in, in, in this case here. Right here is the, the pedostatic system. Now that is used to determine an aircraft, aircraft airspeed mark number altitude and altitude trend. Look, uh, looking very, very cool indeed. Now along here we can see uh, at the bottom of the, the second E and the G there. Now that is the wing light. They are used to uh, illuminate the light along the or towards the leading edge of the wing here, and of course uh, in, into the intake of the engine. Uh, very cool. Um, here we have the Lima two boarding door, uh, one of the two main boarding doors. Of course, the other one is this one here, the Lima one boarding door. Very nice indeed. Now here. Under here, uh, if I can get some nice lighting on it, there we go. There is a, the uh, the the landing light, one of the landing lights on this aircraft. The other one is in the the notes gear. Can't quite see it, but uh, it is there in, in the, on the one-to-one -one scale aircraft. And now that is used 
within um, zero in 10,000 feet or on an active runway, whether it's departing or uh, landing onto or, or into the airfield. Very nice indeed. Here is the number two engine. I believe this is number two engine, or it might be the, the this is the number one engine. My bad. For aviation fronted, as you can see, the fan blades looking absolutely wonderful indeed. They did a fantastic job. Like I say, like how I say the word fantastic when I'm looking at the fan blades. Very nice. And there is the spiral there on the um the uh, the engine cone there, looking very cool indeed. Probably just just uh, put to that as well. But uh, for, there we go. Here is the is the side of the nacelle here with the uh, the the tail livery of uh, Air Senegal, looking fantastic. On top of the fuselage here, we can see one of my favourite um, part, or you know, one of my favourite bits on the on the aviation front of mould. As you can see, as I'm uh, moving the aircraft around here, you can it, it kind of looks like the beacon is flashing there. I just love how this uh, is popping out of the fuselage. It's it's quite unique compared to the likes of energy models, uh, Gemini jets, JC wings, Phoenix models, pretty much the rest of rest of the gang in terms of the brands. Um, I love the the uh, uh, innovative thinking of putting like red jewels, uh, uh, jewel rubies like that to look to to represent the um the beacon light. Of course, it is on the underside of the air, of the aircraft as well, which we'll be taking a look at soon. Here we have the top side of the wing looking absolutely fantastic. Here is the red navigation light just here. On the other side, it'll be a green one just here looking fantastic. Here we have the, I'm surprised that there is no uh, strobe lights on this aircraft, which would, which would have been located to either, I think it would have been to in, in that gap there. This gap just here. Uh, the, now on an Airbus aircraft, um, in sequence those aircraft flash twice. Uh, on a Boeing aircraft, particularly like the the Boeing 787, for example, or the uh, the 737 Max, um, the, they uh, flash once in sequence, and it's uh, usually a a pretty uh, bright flash as well because the the uh, the LED lighting on the um the modern aircraft these days. Um, here is the exterior of the aircraft sharklet. This one here kind of looks a bit uh, tall in my opinion. I feel like this is a little bit too large. Um, here is the interior of the sharklet. Looking rather interesting. Let me just try and focus on it for you guys. There we go. But I feel like the shape of this sharklet looks... Hold on, let me try and focus on it. It kind of looks a bit tall. Or maybe it's just the angle. Maybe it's just the angle. Here we have uh, the emergency exit door. One of the emergency exit doors on this aircraft. Of course, used in the event of emergency. The, the slides would fold out and would... Um, uh, make a, a, a makeshift um, life raft as well, particularly if it's on water. Here we have uh, the second antenna on top of the fuselage here, and behind that we have the SATCOM on board, or the WIFO dome, or whatever you would like to call it. Uh, this um, provides the IFE, Infl Inflight Entertainment, on board the aircraft, of course seen behind each of the seats on the aircraft. Very cool, and of course here is another antenna here. Here is the registration of the aircraft, 6 Victor Dash Alpha November Bravo. And to the right of the registration we can see the flag of Senegal again. Right here in the middle of the shot we can see the Airbus A330 and 900neo titles there. And to the right of that is the, uh, the Lima, this is the Lima 3 door. Or is it the, uh, it's a lever four door. This one here is the lever three door. Uh, this, of course, can be used uh, when boarding via uh, the apron of an aircraft, or just embarking in the apron. Uh, you know, uh, if we be able to board those buses and then being taken to the to the the terminal. This aircraft here uh, operates to Charles de Gaulle, I believe. 
Um, so it would, it would definitely be, be used to, uh, to um, use those buses there because uh, the com- I hear the commute uh, around Charles de Gaulle is quite, <laughs> is quite a nightmare. So interesting. Here we have the tail fin of Air Senegal looking absolutely nice indeed. I think the lighting at, um, at the moment is giving this aircraft um, not enough justice as of course uh, the yellow uh, if to the naked eye looks rather it, it looks brighter than what it does on the screen. Um, but uh, here we go, here is the, the, the tail logo of course seen on the engine nacelle as well as I mentioned just there. Looking rather cool. Uh, very nice and indeed and of course here is the elevators of the aircraft as you can see there are the tail lights on the aircraft the logo lights those uh, those rather large um, silver dots there on each on what one on each side they are used to light up the tail fin during night operation to give an indication to the um, a visual indication to the to the ATC or who, whoever's in the control tower about who the airline is uh, could be also be used as a marketing tool to anyone within it or around the airfield to give them a sense to want to fly the aircraft or the airline. In this case, of course, it would be Air Senegal. Um, everything else on this side, apart from the differences on this side, would be the green navigation light, as I showed you before. Um, where is it? Just there. Uh, the other main difference is, is that there is a cargo hold just here. There we go. And then there's a, another cargo hold at the rear just here. Uh, the other main difference is, uh, is basically that everything else, all the decals, has basically flipped around. Now let's uh, have a quick look at the underside of the aircraft. This is where I... It gets rather nice, in my opinion. Um, not only do we have all of the main details, you know, the landing gear doors, um, the underside of the Air Senegal titles. Let me just get this uh, correct here, because my OCD is is bugging me with here, because the, the Senegal titles were upside down, and that kind of bugged me. Um, looking absolutely wonderful indeed there. Right in the middle of the shot is... Uh, the uh, the draw ruby the beacon light with the stand hole the uh, the you know where it shows that the land, landing gear doors are but as mentioned these um, gears are magnetic so what you do just to get the get it out obviously you simply pull it out like so and then you put it back in. You know, you know, and then we have the the main landing gear, and so they literally just pop out. As you can see, there is the magnetic, or uh, the magnet just there, and they you, you literally just use this little tab at the end here to go underneath that gap there, just like that, and there we go. The, ge- the gears are in. I'd probably be better if I showed you on this side. As, as you can see, you literally just put this little tab under here. And it should just pop in. Just like that. So, pretty cool. I mean, it, the, the, the landing gear are pretty solid on the, uh, on the magnet. Uh, I was quite wary about the um, the landing gear, to be honest, um, with the um, magnets. And as you can see, they do tilt on the axis as well, and they do roll. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I was quite wary about the fact that uh, this um, magnetic gears... I kind of had the thought about what if the landing gear d- uh, fall out. And then you've lost the you you know you've lost the landing gear, uh, but they do they do the job. I feel like uh, the the landing gear in this model here is more sturdy than the ones I have on my ITA A three thirty Neo. Um, so I do hope that someone comes out with another one, 
that would uh, help, that would definitely help me out. Um, but overall, a very very nice model. Uh, if you were, if you're looking forward to go ahead and get one, I would highly recommend to go and get one yourselves. Of course, this is the only uh, release of an Air Senegal A330 Neo. Um, I believe, or I, th I, I think um, Phoenix may have come out with one earlier on, but this is the only one that has the Madinic gears. Um, so, very cool. So, I hope you enjoy what you saw in today's video, guys. If you did, go ahead and, and drop a thumbs up below. It will be a great indication to, of how you, um, you enjoy today's content. If you would like to come along and tune into more content like this, go ahead and subscribe below by clicking the subscribe button below there. Uh, but both the uh, the liking of this video and of course the the subscribing is the freest way to support the channel. And of course, while you, while you're there below uh, uh, to the right of the uh, the subscribe button, you can ding the bell icon uh, to receive the notifications as soon as the videos go live onto the channel be a great way to tune in to the next content I have out on the channel. Some more model reviews are coming up very, very soon, so stick around for that, including uh, the Air Japan uh, Boeing 787-8 by JC Wings and the Qatar Airways Airbus A380 as well, also by uh, JC Wings. I have an unboxing coming up very soon or later on in the year, and of course I do have another airport update in the works as well. Uh, if you would like to come along and support my social media whereabouts on the screen now will be the QR code you can scan to go straight to my Instagram page for Asia International Airport. Uh, that will be a great way to see all the news about my uh, the ins and outs of the airport, you know, the, uh, the news for the new services, the adding services, all the photo photographs of my, of my uh, aircraft as well, my model collection, um, and the uh, updates about the website as well, etc. Uh, but if you want, want, if you'd like to go ahead and scan the QR code you can see on the screen now, that will lead you straight to my Linktree page, uh, that has all the other links, uh, including the, this that Instagram page, in one full place, including the likes of the Infinite Flight uh, link as well, straight to my Infinite Flight Instagram page, as I was trying to get out of my uh, in that sentence. So go ahead and check that out. I do have uh, Infinite Flight content in the works as well. I'm just trying to figure out uh, which of the uh, the long flights I'm doing at the moment would be the best one to do uh, a video of. Apologies, apologies for um, the traffic there. Uh, there's some angry drivers on the road today. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, that video, or this video, the uh, the model review of the Air Senegal Airbus A330 900neo released by Aviation 400. Uh, as, you, as of course, if you did, go ahead and drop a, uh, the thumbs up below, uh, subscribe, and of course, uh, ding the bell icon if you haven't done so already. If this video benefits you or would benefit anyone else you you, you know, uh, share this video to them. It would be a great way to help the algorithm as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, soon enough, on the end screen will be some options for you guys. On the left hand side will be my most recent video here on the channel. On the right hand side would be the full playlist of model reviews I've done so far on this channel. In the middle would be where you can subscribe. But until next time guys, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you guys here in the next one.